What's up my people? I hope you're all having a fantastic day and by my people I mean probably like 50 of you guys but no matter how big the crowd I still love doing these videos. It is so like gloomy out today like it just rained like maybe like an hour ago and this is what it looks like right now. Normally you know, I, I would like rain to go drifting but when I'm not drifting I really don't like the rain. I just kind of wish it would just like go away but as you can tell from the interior of the car I'm driving a 2014 Ford Fusion it's actually my friend's. He asked me to do his rims for him because he wants his car to like stand out whatever he wants it to look different with like black wheels. He doesn't want just a plain white car with uh, silver wheels or whatever. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm getting ready to go to Walmart and buy him the, the paint or he's gonna buy the paint or whatever. And I'm just gonna take you guys through the little process of how to do this and stuff like that and hopefully show you how to transform a car basically. So I've mentioned this paint before. It's called Placida, but it's probably one of the least expensive ways to add paint to something that's actually removable and change the look of it so I think it's the easiest way to do it and if, you, if you're not looking to spend a lot of money this is like a perfect way to go because like I said it was removable or it is removable and when you put it on it looks pretty good so I'm gonna run into Walmart really fast I'm not gonna take you guys with me only because I don't have enough pockets to fit my camera in because it's kind of weird carrying a, a camera around just like normally but what I would recommend is you get three cans so like one for one for two wheels and then use one for all four of those if that makes sense. I don't know that kind of sounds confusing. So basically get three cans for all the wheels. I just got out of Walmart and I went to, to find the plastic forever and they only had two cans. I was thinking to myself, dang, that's gonna that's gonna suck. But I texted one of my friends and he said he thinks that two cans will do just fine. So we'll we'll do two cans for now and see how it turns out, which I'm sure it'll turn out just fine. But if it doesn't, then I'll run in a different car to go grab a third can just in case we do need it. Before we start painting the car, or paint, sorry, before we start painting the rims, you actually have to clean them because some cars, you know, they may not look dirty because they have silver rims, but if you like run your finger along them, that is like way dirtier than what you'd expect. So I'm gonna clean the rims really fast and then we can start painting them. So all I'm gonna use to clean the wheels is just a, a bottle with some water in it to spray and some microfiber towels. You can get them at like Walmart. They're really not that expensive. So I just got done cleaning off four of the wheels and I just remembered something. Before you start painting, you wanna make sure that the, the wheels are actually completely dry before you start putting paint on them because if you put paint over like, over, like if you put plastic specifically over water or like a wet spot, it'll leave bubbles. So make sure it's completely dry before you start painting. I know I showed you guys before, but here's a, a before pic of the side of the car with the, the silver rims on them. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the process of this one, but then it's just basically the same for all four wheels. And another thing, don't do one wheel at a time, so like put the first coat on for this one and then move on to the next wheel and then move on to the next wheel and so on. Because you don't want to like drench the, the paint because it'll leave, it'll leave dripping marks and you don't want that. So here we go, I'm going to go ahead and start with this one. That's about good for the first coat, so I'm gonna move on to the next one. I don't know if you guys have ever done something like this before, but my finger is starting to hurt so bad already. It's only been like five minutes and my finger is like starting to hurt from holding down the little, the spray thing. Oh my gosh, I never thought it would hurt this bad to paint some wheels. I mean, I've never done this before, but I know how to do it. So yeah, this hurts really bad. Or not hurts, but it's really sore already. The first coat is already on the car. So it's starting to look pretty good. I mean, only with the first coat, that's, that's pretty awesome. It's a white car with black woods. You really can't go wrong with that. Why? Why did it start raining? It's really not that big of a deal because I just pulled my brother's car out and I just pulled his car into the garage. That's why I wish we weren't doing it on a day like this. But you have to learn how to cope with the, the, the weather because you really can't change the weather, but you can change yourself. 
I don't know what I'm trying to say, but yeah, we're gonna keep going here. I'm almost finished with the car. Unfortunately, my finger still hurts like crap, but the good news is it stopped raining, which is really good, so I'll be able to just let it dry. I just need to put a few more coats on it and it'll be done, but here, I'll give you guys a little peek. Boom, just a little peek. You guys can't, you guys can pause the video right there, but you're not gonna get much out of it. Just, yeah, just a little peek. I just pulled the car out into the driveway again since it stopped raining, and I wanted to see it out in the light because it was a little dark in the garage, but I went ahead and pulled it out and I wanted to check it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the before on clip, the, the before the car got painted clip right here. As you can tell, you know, there's the silver wheels or whatever. And then here we go with the black wheels. I think it turned out really, really good. I cannot wait to see his reaction. So I'm gonna leave this thing here to dry really fast and I'm gonna run to uh, get my hair cut because I've been growing out my hair for way too long. I know it didn't seem very long, but it gets really hard to style and it gets really annoying. So I'm gonna head there really fast and get my hair cut. I forgot my camera at home, but I got my hair cut and it feels great, thankfully. I'm now heading to my work to reveal the car to Caleb, that's his name, and hopefully we get a good reaction out of him. Alright guys, so our meeting just got over with, and I have Caleb right here. Say what's up, Caleb. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Are you excited to see your car I'm or what? I'm very excited. Alright, let's go. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. no. We're so icy. No, give me it. Did you? Hey, someone's supposed to say what's up to the vlog, you know. <laughs> what's up? What up? That's no. Hit him up on the Instagram. I'll put his at name in there. Here are your the keys to your new too. car. Wow. Thank you so much. Oh car. my. Like it was great. Dude. A lot of hard work. It, oh, it's sexy. It's real sexy. I like that. Damn, Isn't that so such much. a good reaction? Oh my god. And they're dry. You did this today? I did this today, yeah. Oh my gosh, a train! Damn! <laughs> Oh, is that the next reaction video? Yeah, Who knows? Because you have like a lot of stuff. Oh, thank you so much. That's my thing. I can fully teleport it somewhere else. We're all going to get something to eat right now. And I'm really glad Caleb was really happy with the way it turned out. I'm really happy with the way it turned out as well. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a like and subscribe to my channel. Peace.